Okay, we have a trade to announce involving the Seattle Sounders and NYCFC. The Seattle Sounders have traded the 16th overall super draft pick to NYFC in return for $75,000 of general allocation money. And with the 16th pick of the first round of the 2017 MLS Super Draft, NYC FC select from the University of Connecticut, defender Kwame Aua. The New York are now on the congratulations and welcome to the club. Um, just get your reaction to, to signing. Um, I'm really excited. I can't wait to start playing with the guys. Um, I've watched a a lot of NYCFC games and just to play under great coaching staff, a great fan base in a great city is just an opportunity that I won't let go to waste and I just hope the best to, is to come and hopefully I can make something out of this moment. And what does it mean extra that the club traded the allocation money to, to, to bring you to the club? It means, it means even a bigger, bigger thing because that means that they really believed in me and they really wanted me and just to be part of a staff that actually wants me and wants me, welcomes me to their family like that, it means a big thing. And um, I've been, just like, like I said, I've been watching them a long time. And just to be close to home as well, not too far from home, is a big thing as well. So uh, hopefully I can get comfortable quick and be able to play at my best when the time comes. And what did um, Patrick and Claudia, what kind of things have they said to you? After this, they just said they'll see me soon. They said well, it was good to see me again because I, I talked to them yesterday in a meeting. And it's just, a surreal moment. I told them when I saw them in the meeting, just thank you for the meeting in general. Um, you guys are a great club and you're a great coach and for the things that you've done in the past year from not making the playoffs to actually coming like in second place, it's just a big, big, big deal. So I appreciate everything that they've done, trading them for the money and everything. So uh, I can't, I just can't wait to prove them that I'm worth the, the whole shakeup. <laughs> My perception from New York City Football Club is it's a results business. They try to get the best results, but playing is also an important thing. So playing the best soccer while getting the results is a really important thing. And they believe in their team. The fans believe in their team. And the team itself believes in themselves, especially with guys like Pirlo and David Villa. It's just an amazing thing. Like You just know that if those guys have your back, guys have won World Cups and stuff like that, then there's nothing to be afraid of. If they believe in you, then you should just go out there with your A game and do the best and play your best. And playing under Patrick, that must be an extra a legend of the game. Yes, I'm actually an Arsenal fan, and <laughs> and I'm a Barcelona and Arsenal fan, but when Patrick Vieira was at Arsenal, that was when I really, really came to notice him. His big frame, but the way he was moving on the ball was just unbelievable, his vision for the game. And like I said, I play a lot of positions, so whenever I'm able to play like the holding midfielder position, I look at guys like Patrick Vieira. If I'm playing the left back position, I look at guys like Marcelo or the guys in the best position. So just to be playing under someone who, with such football knowledge, who won a World Cup, won a European Championship, is just unreal. So you mentioned you, you play in two different positions. Is that you're quite a versatile player? How yes. would you describe yourself? Um, I can play anywhere from the, the middle to the left. So the left back, left wing. Uh, holding mid, box to box midfielder. I played all of those positions this past combine too. So um, I guess I'm a team guy too. So I, I think that just being versatile it gives me a better opportunity to get on the field, hopefully, and gets a better opportunity for the coaches to see me in different spots and where I can help them at different times of the year. And then um, you say you're from Toronto, so it's not too far in New York. Are you excited to live in a city like New York? Yes, uh, I'm excited to live in this city like New York and just a few hours away from my friends that are still at school and a few hours away from my uh, family at home is just ideal situation and the city itself has a history itself and whenever I go down there it's always a grand time so I can't wait. And for the fans, I'm happy to play in front of you guys. The atmosphere is unreal and I can't wait to be a part of that and part of the family. See you guys soon.